5th of December, 1907. The excitement that was about to unfold in Kidwelly was the talking point of the town for many a month. Sunday, 5th of December, 1907, was a bright, crisp winter's morning, and apart from the few who were making their way to morning service, the streets of Kidwelly were all but empty. Of the few who ventured into that cold morning were a certain Mr. and Mrs. Jones, regular worshippers of the town, making their way to St. Mary's Church, of course, for morning service. They were probably the first to witness this extraordinary sight. Soon, a crowd of people began to gather on the streets to gaze at this unusual event. What was this strange object floating gently and silently over their town? In fact, what they were seeing, of course, was a large airship. And even stranger, it appeared there was no one on board. The explanation to this mysterious event began hundreds of miles away across the continent. During the previous week, the airship called La Patrie had travelled from Paris to the town of Verdun, situated in southeast France. Unfortunately, a week later, catastrophe struck. While still anchored at Verdun, the airship was caught in an oncoming gale, and the pilot was forced to evacuate the craft rather hurriedly. However, the winds were so strong, even 200 soldiers holding down the mooring ropes could not prevent La Patrie from being torn from their hands. It sailed away unmanned in a north-westerly direction across France, over the Channel, across southwest England, and of course sighted eventually over Kidwelly in South Wales. Carried by the wind, the craft continued its lonely, uncharted voyage. Later in the morning, it was sighted in Cardigan. In the afternoon, at Belfast, Ireland, where it bounced once and lost a propeller which, along with other parts, broke off the gondola. The doomed ship continued its unscheduled voyage before ultimately disappearing into the Atlantic, where its wreckage was discovered a few days later. 